Hi, and welcome to the Lavender Chair Crochet Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the base pattern for all of my dress patterns. You're going to need some worsted weight cotton yarn and a I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. To get started, we're going to create a slip knot. Insert your hook into the loop and pull tight. Next thing we're going to do is chain 66 stitches. Now that you've completed 66 chains, we're going to half double crochet in the third chain from hook, and then into the next four chains. In the next stitch, you're going to create half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Now we have double crochet in the next 19 stitches. Next step is we're going to do another half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to half double crochet in the next 12 stitches. Now that we've crocheted in the next 12 stitches, we are going to create another half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to half double crochet in the next 19 stitches. After you've crocheted in the next 19 chains, we're going to do another half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch. Then lastly, we're going to half double crochet in the five remaining chains. For row two, chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch, and the next five stitches. One, two, three. four, five. Next you're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. Then you're going to crochet across the next 21 stitches. Next we're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. Then we're going to half double crochet across the next 14 stitches. Next we're going to make half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. Then we're going to continue by half double crocheting in the next 21 stitches. Next, you're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. And then you're going to half double crochet in the remaining six stitches. Now, for round three, we're going to chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch in the next six stitches. Half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next 23 stitches. Next, you're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next 16 stitches. Next, you're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next 16 stitches. 
Next, you're gonna half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. And then we're gonna continue by half double crocheting in the next 23 stitches. Next, you're gonna half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. Then you're gonna half double crochet in the next seven stitches. Moving on to round four, you're going to chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch, half double crochet in the next seven stitches. Next, you're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. Next, we're going to half double crochet in the next 25 stitches. Next, you're going to create a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next 18 stitches. Next, you're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. Then we're going to half double crochet in the next 25 stitches. Next, you're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space, and then we're gonna half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Now for round five, we're gonna chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch, and the next eight stitches. Next, we're gonna half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Then we're gonna half double crochet across the next 27 stitches. Next, you're gonna half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space. Then we're gonna half double crochet in the next 20 stitches. Next, we're gonna half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're gonna half double crochet in the next 27 stitches. Next, we're gonna half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next chain one space, then half double crochet in the last nine stitches. Next, we're gonna be working on our button band. This starts with a chain one, which counts as your first single crochet. Single crochet in the side of row five, single crochet in the side of row four, two single crochet in the side of row three, this one and two, one single crochet in the side of row two, and two single crochets in the side of round one, and I like to make it in the side of row one and then the last chain stitch that you have there that's from the very beginning of your project. Then for rounds two through four you're going to chain one and single crochet across. Next we're going to move on to our arm shaping and skirt portion. We are going to chain one, and we are going to make a half double crochet in the side of row four, three, two, and one. Next, we're going to half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. Now that I got to the end of the row here, we're going to make a half double crochet in the chain one space. And we're going to chain five, 
and we're going to skip the next 26 stitches and half double crochet in that next chain space. Okay, half double crochet in the next 22 stitches. Now we're going to half double crochet in that chain one space, chain five, then skip the next 29 stitches and half double crochet in the next chain one space. All right, half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. Now that we've made it to 10, we're gonna flip it inside out, right side up, and we are going to join with the slip stitch to that first half double crochet that was placed in the side of the rows of the button band. We're just gonna join with the slip stitch right there. Then we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna half double crochet in each stitch around. Now join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made, chain three. For this round, you're gonna work treble crochet all the way around, that's a yarn over two times, insert hook into stitch, draw up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So just continue doing that all the way around. Now that you've come to the end of your treble crochet round, you are going to join with a slip stitch to that first treble crochet made. Then we're gonna chain one, and we are gonna half double crochet all the way around. Now that we've reached the end of our final half double crochet round, we are going to join with a slip stitch. And from here, you will continue on with your skirting pattern, depending on the dress. To finish this up though, I'm gonna make our button holes right here, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So finish off the skirt, okay. For our buttonhole round, we are going to join with a slip stitch to the side of row one. What I like to do is to create a slip knot, insert my hook, take it up the loop, and make a single, I make a slip stitch to secure it. And then I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to evenly single crochet, ten single crochets across rows one to six. Okay, for the next row two of the button band, buttonholes, we're gonna chain one and single crochet in each chain across. There you go. Now for row three, next row is for the actual buttonholes. So we're gonna chain one, single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, skip two, single crochet in the next two stitches, chain two, skip two, and single crochet in the last three stitches. Don't forget that chain space right there. Okay, now for row four and five, we are going to chain one. We are gonna single crochet across for both rounds.
finish off once you're done with your buttonholes and that's that there is the top portion of all of my dresses right here